New round of sexual misconduct allegations at the state capitol. Well, this time two women came forward to accuse the San Fernando Valley Assemblyman of sexual harassment. CBS 2's Randy Page joins us live in Van Nuys with details on this. Randy. Pat, we're in Van Nuys live because this is the location of Matthew de Bobinet's district office, but his assembly district handles much of the western San Fernando Valley. But these allegations go back to 2016 in Las Vegas. I went to the restroom and I felt a body, a large body, rush up behind me. Sacramento lobbyist Pamela Lopez is describing what she says happened inside a private bathroom during a party with about 50 friends at the MGM Grand Sky Lofts in Las Vegas in 2016. She says she turned around to see Woodland Hills Assembly member Matthew DeBobinet performing a sex act on himself and telling her to touch him. And I remember thinking, oh my God. What do I do? What do I do? And I thought, make it very clear that I do not want to be here and that there is no misunderstanding. And so I said several times, no, I will not touch you. No, I will not touch you. Lopez made her allegations public today in a news conference in Sacramento, along with Jessica Yas Barker, a former staff member who says DeBobinet made inappropriate comments to women while he worked as chief of staff for Congressman Brad Sherman in 2009. Ranging from comments joking about the glass ceiling that we all have to contend with to disparaging my clothing, calling me Ellen, telling me not to dress like such a lesbian. He didn't seem to understand the rules of common decency. DeBobine did not answer his cell phone and his attorney declined to return our calls, but he provided this written statement in response to Pamela Lopez's allegations about what she says happened in that Las Vegas bathroom. I affirmatively deny that this event ever happened at any time. I am saddened by this lobbyist's effort to create this falsehood and make these inflammatory statements, apparently for her own self-promotion and without regard to the reputation of others. I look forward to clearing my name. And Assembly Rules Committee Chairman Ken Cooley says he would like to see this, this investigation handled by an outside investigator. And Assemblymember DeBobinet says he welcomes that investigation and he will fully cooperate. Let's go back to you.